What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I have some Yu-Gi-Oh news for you guys. It looks like the Flames of Destruction sneak preview promo card has been revealed, and we also uh, know what the sneak preview playmat looks like. So, first off, let's get to that promo card, and it is Monster Reborn Reborn. So yeah, that's the card they're choosing for this one. A uh, pretty cool choice, honestly. I'm pretty happy to see this card because, first off, I just like the artwork of it, to be very honest. I mean, just having the Japanese uh, version of Monster Reborn right there and then, like, a pile of the TCG version. It's even kind of cool because, you know, we got the Lost artwork now. So, uh, yeah, I I'm not too surprised by this choice because it does tie into their Lost Art promotion. And, uh, you know what? It's actually a pretty good card, too. Real quick though, in case people are confused by this, yeah, if you've already noticed, it started off with Extreme Force. Uh, basically, our sneak preview promo cards are not world premiere cards anymore. They're not like brand new cards uh, that the OCG doesn't have. They're actually taking a card from the set and they're making that the promo. Which, you know, some people like that, some people don't. As long as the, you know, the choices are good, I'm fine with it. Because last time it was like the Mech Knight Field spell. And uh, that one's a pretty good card too. I like being able to get it as an ultra rare. So I'm going to guess that this card will probably end up being a rare in the main set as well. But I'm happy they chose this card just because it's a pretty good card. And again, I really like the artwork of it too. It's kind of that simple. But yeah, if you don't know what it does, basically it is a, a normal spell card. And its effect is target three monsters in your graveyard. Your opponent chooses one. You can special summon it, and if you do, banish the rest. You can only activate one Monster Reborn Reborn per turn. So basically, it is kind of like a Monster Reborn, but you're choosing three of those cards, and your opponent gets to choose which one gets revived, other two get banished, is, is basically what it does for you. It's a pretty good card, honestly, on that too. I mean, it is kind of like an extra Monster Reborn. It's just that choice thing can get in your way a little bit, but, um, yeah, I mean, if you're using the right deck or, you know, if you choose three of the same monster even, I think that'd be kind of funny, then, yeah, you're just getting whatever you want from that too. So, yeah, I, I think it could come in handy in a lot of different decks out there, and, again, I, I really like this card. So, I'm glad to see it's going to be able to get it, you know, as a, as a holographic, and, uh, yeah, like I said, I, I'm going to guess it'll probably be a rare in the main set. And then, of course, like I said, we also have the sneak preview playmat, and I gotta say, I like the design of this one, too. I was wondering how they would do that, and I kind of like this, uh, kind of like, I don't know, tech board or like scratches or whatever on the playmat is what it looks like with the pattern. Looks really cool, and of course, our brand new Topologic monster as well. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get this playmat. But uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think about this playmat, and also about their choice for the sneak preview promo card. Like it? Don't like it so much? Let me know down in the comments. For me, I'm alright with it. I mean, yeah, I kind of miss getting world premiere cards like this, but also, as long as the choices are good, I'm kind of whatever with it. I mean, because you guys remember, a lot of world premiere cards they would choose were kind of meh, <laughs> or it was kind of getting that way sometimes. Although sometimes we got things like Reborn Tengu. But either way, I'm pretty happy with this choice. So let me know what you guys think about it as well, and uh, looking forward to the Flames Destruction sneak preview. You guys know as soon as that happens, I'll have an opening on my channel, and I might actually buy a case of this set. I don't know. I'm still debating on it because I'm looking for this one. I'm still hoping Needle Fiber will be in this set too. Nothing confirmed on that, but I, I just hope so. I hope he's in this set. But yeah, just let me know. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Helps out a ton. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.